Well, today is a nasty, rainy day, but we are here in Maryland. We are at the Sermont Goodwill, and we're going to head in and see what we can find to buy and flip for a profit. Here we go. Well, since I had such great luck with the blue mold last week, I decided to start with Halloween. Oh, this is funny. We saw these at um, the Halloween store the other day when we were getting our costumes. Hellcat. Costumes are a little more cheap here than they were at the Halloween store. whole lot here. I remember when they first started pulling, putting out the Halloween, it was like piled high, but not much now. All right, so now I'm going to head into the back room and see what we've got back there. These are not Halloween. Somebody maybe stashed these over here until half off day. So here we are in the figurines. These are made from slate. Those are kind of neat. Squirrels still here. <laughs> These look like Schmid. They are Schmid. $3.49. Gosh, oh my goodness. I really like this one. I guess they're both circus themed. This one's broken though, unfortunately. I, I believe it's broken. It's supposed to play music and the whole mechanism is stuffed up in there otherwise i'd pick that up because that was so fun and i think they're both circus themes okay i don't see much else it looks like this is still here a lot of you had mentioned that this is like a, was made from a bottle or something which i thought was pretty cool um, i'm still not sure the resale value on that this is darling dollars and fifty cents what is this? 1992, I can see on the bottom. <laughs> That's all I've got. Kitty trinket box. What is this? It's made from resin. Those are confusing. <laughs> I thought it was a pretzel at first. It's not a pretzel. So many dachshunds. Must be somebody donated their dachshund collection. This guy is adorable. Oh, he's got a broken tail, though. That's a shame. What about these? These are interesting. $1.49. There are three of them. And you know what? I think I'm going to get those. A set of three. $1.50 each. All right. I like these other guys, too. But I think I'm going to leave them for someone else. So there's lots of clear glass here. Is there a Nice. Oh, thank you. <laughs> it's coming along. <laughs> Those are France. Those are probably Acarat. Sure, I'm mispronouncing that. A little milk glass there. Oh, wow. This is nice. Is that a menorah? $5.50. I think it is. I kind of like that one. It has like a hammered look to it. I still have to get my last menorah listed. Yeah, you know what? How much is it? $5.50. I see some more puppy dogs over here. There's a headless unicorn. <laughs> oh man, I like that Scotty. I don't know what he's made out of, see the bag. Your crafting baskets. Not a whole lot here. What is this? Oh, it's a dream catcher. Oh my goodness, look at this. <laughs> She's so cute. $14.50. It is cute. <laughs> here we are in vases. I'm going China on that one. These wire cells always make me so nervous. Mm. I see these all the time. I think those are party light. What are these? 
Made in India, $9 originally, asking $3.50 each for those. There's like three, there are four of them there. Five. There's five of them. Alright. I actually noticed this from the other side of the shelf. I love these artsy candles. I think they are the coolest. $2.50. Now I have sold these before. One time they flopped, the other time they did really well, so I don't really know what I could expect from this. But it's never been lit, and it's not really deformed. Sometimes when they get hot, they have a tendency to le start leaning or whatnot. Um, but this is $2.50. Got a little stick out in here. Here is Holiday. What do we have here? I kind of like the looks of those bowls in the back. Those are fun. Home collection. There's a snowman playing ice hockey. Let's look down here. Who makes these? Folk craft. Cabin in the snow. There's a whole set of this. And I like it, but I don't really need it at the moment. I have plenty of stuff to list. I don't know if that was spray painted. I think so. I feel like it was added after the fact. Fresh cart. Look what we have here. These are actually here the last time I was here and I didn't get a chance to look at them. Microsoft, Microsoft safe, oh my God. Microwave safe. I feel like I might need another cup of coffee to get me through the day. This is hand painted. What is that on? Czechoslovakia. Huh, $3.50 on the Czechoslovakia picture. I might stick that in there and take it for a ride. Looks like the wedding box migrated since last week. <laughs> this is still here. I really wish there were two of those because then I would pick it up. What does this say? Something ready school. There's a ton of temptations. I just have never really had the best of luck with temptations. Over here, this looks like a mold made of red clay. Fish mold. Hmm. I think that's more contemporary though. We may have looked at those before. Let's see down here. This kind of fused glass. Like WCO Silvestri. Sometimes I'll pick up Silvestri, but I don't think I'm gonna pick that up. This is interesting. This looks like Fastoria American. Or it could just be plain cubist. I have the hardest time telling the difference between the two. $6.50. I mean, regardless of whether it's Fostoria or not, I feel like I could still make money on that. If it's Fostoria, I'd make a little bit more money on it, but I'll stick that in here. What is this thing? That is intense. Torture implement. <laughs> these are fun. Let's see, those are probably vintage. There's a whole bunch of them. I just don't sell very much Disney stuff. $1.50. And I'm gonna leave them. Okay, this looks like Soroka wood. Is a tie thingy my bobber. <laughs> it's got some wear on it though. Rolling pins are still here. What is this? Before you go to bed at night, give your troubles to God. He'll be up all night anyway. <laughs> kind of folk art style. Uh, I think I'm gonna leave it though. There is a milkshake maker thingy, $9.50, it's very heavy. 
Well, this, I think, is the actual torture implement. $4.50. I'm not sure what the purpose of this would be. Is it a meat tenderizer? It doesn't have, like, shakies in it. <laughs> oh my gosh, look at this. $19.79. That is so much fun. Oh my gosh, look here, though. It's, like, literally taped. This is so great and mid-century. The colors are everything. I can totally see this in a 1950s kitchen. I love it. <laughs> but it won't fit in the Subaru. And I don't think it would really go with the style of my house. So I'm going to leave it here for someone else to snatch up. But that is incredible. What is this? Is this for a sewing machine? Singer button holder. Oh my gosh. It's like a whole lot of attachments and stuff. That looks pretty cool. I wonder if that would be worth anything. Singer button holder. We'll have to look that one up. So I did a search for Singer button holder. And there's some that have sold. This one's kind of a unique shape though. This is a little vintage eyelet template, 50 bucks. I think that's just this little thing here, right? Street template. That little thing sells for 50 bucks. Well, it might be worth picking up for $12.50 and piecing it out. My fear um, with buying stuff like this that's real technical is making sure I have all the pieces and looking at this I would not know one way or the other if all the pieces are there. I'll give it a shot. I mean my rule recently has been not to pick up things that I wouldn't be excited to list. I don't know if I'd necessarily be that excited to list this thing. But I can't pass up 50 bucks. If that is in fact what it is. If I get it home and it's like a ten dollar piece, I don't know. <laughs> A shot. It's only twelve dollars and fifty cents. I had noticed these lamps over here, and I wanted to get a closer look. They're uh, fourteen dollars and fifty cents each. It looks like they were originally milk glass, and somebody painted the blue flowers on there. I mean, I like it. I think it's kind of cute, and there is a pair, but I don't think I'm going to pick them up today. Oh, hey, I've seen this before. $1.50. These can be worth money. I actually still have one sitting on my shelf. But I can't remember if this um this shape is worth money, so I'm gonna look this up real quick. So I think what we're looking at is this. This casserole dish. It's a different color though. This one is more of a blue, and these are kind of green. There you can see the blue. I'm not seeing that casserole dish in blue. Here it is in yellow. Sold for 30 bucks. Green again and yellow. Um, $5.50. The enamel is in good shape. I have found these where the enamel is all chipped up. And they are cast iron. So we'll take that. I may end up keeping it. The only reason the other one has not been listed is because I was considering keeping it. And I'm still considering. I feel like I looked at this last time. I think it's just blank. Yeah, that's a blank one. Not terribly exciting. I had this growing up. I was like, my mom's first dinnerware was this Corel with the hearts and then she got the bolts graph. I remember when she was going to donate it all to the Goodwill and I was like, no mom, I'll keep it. I'll use it when I'm older. <laughs> all right. You guys seem to always spot the mugs after I've put out the video. You're like, oh, in the back there was a such and such. And for some reason, I'm completely oblivious. What is this in the back? That just looks like fun. <laughs> it's in a Vaughn mug.
Okay, so today I decided to come over and see what I could find in the linens because this looked really interesting. <laughs> Looks like 1980s or 1990s, right? Those are so much fun. Dollar fifty each. I wonder if the rest of the set is here. I'm gonna have to go over and look in the blankets. Oh my goodness, this is adorable. That looks handmade. Six dollars and fifty cents. That one might actually fit in my Subaru. My dad could probably tighten that up because it is a little bit of wobbly. But um, it's adorable. I might offer it to Jess. Um, Jess watches the kids during the day a few days a week and she has a one-year-old named Jojo. She might like this. She's They're living in our house. You guys know Jesse. Jess and Jesse. So I'll grab this. Here is the comforter. Eight dollars and fifty cents. Should I do the sniff test? It actually doesn't smell bad. I'm looking for a tag to see if I can figure out who made it. I'm not seeing anything though. All right, I stuck it in my cart. A lot of you had suggested for my linens that um, I just don't have to spread them out, that I just snap pictures of them like Kat does, and I think I'm going to give that a try with this. Because it's not like a quilt where you kind of have to get the full view of it. So, Alright, I'm going to grab the pillow cases. Here are the pillow cases. That's just so fun. Kind of reminds me of my childhood. That's why I'm thinking 1990s. Well, she is making very quick work of the cart. And I happened to be walking by and noticed this fairy light. So... I'm not sure which one this is. I did look at the bottom. It's not marked Limoges. For uh, F and R. I'm not even going to try to pronounce that. But I like that. I think it's German. Since she is restocking, I figured I would check this out one last time. My birth certificate. Yeah. No, we don't get until 30. She switched her times. Alright. You know what? This is kind of pretty on the end. She just set that down. Ooh, very shiny. I do see a chip there on that though. Made in China. Mart Mart, Bed Bath and Beyond. Very heavy. I'm gonna try to stick it right on the thing <laughs> like that. That doesn't sound good. Okay, well, I have a full card. Okay, so I feel like that was a pretty successful trip to Goodwill. I didn't find anything outstanding in the glass or pottery category, but I feel like that comforter set was pretty great. I haven't looked it up yet, but um, my total spend being about 60, I think that that set will cover it. Uh, I did give it the sniff test and it didn't smell bad. <laughs> That's always my fear after the whole uh, blow mold incident, but I'm here now at Emmitsburg Antique Mall. You guys are going to have to wait for that video, and I will see you later. I know it's nothing new, but it's so good to see you.